What is going on everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today I've got some more NBA news to of course be going over with you guys. Very recently the Chicago Bulls actually just made another signing where they, you know, they recently made a couple of signings. Uh, and I did make a video on that where they actually signed Matt Thomas and Eliza Johnson. I highly recommend you guys go and check that out. But basically they actually re well, signed rather another player in free agency. This time being a 25 year old forward who actually used to play for the Toronto Raptors. Pretty similar to the other player, Matt Thomas, they recently signed in Stanley Johnson, who was actually pick number 8 in 2015. Absolutely crazy. There's no real, like, indication what this contract is going to be like. It's just said that he has been signed by the Chicago Bulls at the time of making this video. Who knows when when the news probably further breaks more as this, uh, you know, when I'm editing this video on that. He probably will have signed probably on, like, a, just a minimum deal. But basically, the cool thing with Stanley Johnson is he's actually one of those dudes that can guard both forward positions. Now, I know, you know, they actually brought in Derek Jones Jr., so they'll probably be, you know, looking to play him as their backup power forward. Now, you know, I said they would probably play Eliza Johnson as their backup small forward, but I do really think he's going to have to kind of battle it out with Stanley Johnson. Stanley Johnson actually had a relatively underrated season for the Toronto Raptors last year. He actually managed to play 61 games and started 13, basically playing 16.5 minutes per game, where he had his career best 33% from three on 4.4 points per game. Basically was just there to put some pretty good defense in here and there, but I, I do find it relatively crazy that this guy actually, you know, did pretty well last season considering he's supposed to be a real big bust. Like, if there's a chance, you know, that maybe the Chicago Bulls have some injuries here and there this season, Stanley Johnson, who knows, he might be in for some big minutes. But hey, considering DeMar DeRozan, I'd probably say he'll probably play about 30 minutes per game or so. That leaves a possible 18 minutes for Stanley Johnson to play. In my opinion, he'll probably play about, tw I'd say, 12 minutes per game. And that will probably be like, you know, six minutes at small forwards, you know, maybe four, it'd be like uh, a couple minutes maybe at power forward, a couple minutes at shooting guard here and there as well, maybe. He'll really just guard the wing and power forward position uh, and kind of balance that out, I think. And with, Eli you know, the Eliza Johnson signing, that kind of puts into perspective as well that, you know, he might not get as many minutes because Eliza Johnson, I think, they're looking to see a big improvement out of him. He played for Brooklyn, and he did pretty well. But hey, Eliza Johnson's confirmed to be on a contract. They signed him to two years. Uh, I believe it was $3.6 million. That's $1.8 million per year. And I believe it's guaranteed money. So he's going to be here for the long, you know, ride. I'm not too sure about Stanley Johnson, though. I'm not too sure if it's guaranteed or not. Again, at the time of this video, when it does come out, there will probably be more confirmed on that. Who knows, they might have signed to a two-year deal on the same money, but maybe this time it's non-guaranteed. It's being said right now that Eliza Johnson's contract is guaranteed, but again, who bloody knows? These contracts change any second, really. Like, the news is still yet to 100% come out on the whole contracts. It's just speculation by, of course, Shams, and he's a pretty trusted source. Well, again, if we look at Matt Thomas, who I talked about in the last video, there's no news on him being contracted as well. But they've really kind of got their forward depth in now. They've, you know, locked up some players. They've going, they're going really small. Like Stanley Johnson's only six foot six. Derek Jones Jr. is six foot seven. Um, and Eliza Johnson six foot seven, I believe, as well. And they'll all be playing power four minutes, you would assume. And like the only power forwards I believe that are like that high is like Larry Nance. But Larry Nance is a pretty strong guy. Like he's also got a pretty big frame. You don't really see that with players like Derek Jones. So. Hey, it is the modern age. Maybe they don't need big frames to be a good defensive power forward anymore. I guess we'll see how they all go with this whole experiment. But they, I still fit, think on a look to get like a good power forward slash center, you know, as like a backup. I was been talking about DeMarcus Cousins for a while. I still think DeMarcus Cousins would be a, a pretty nice fit, in my opinion. I, I, I'm not exactly too sure. Um... But hey, he's probably better than Tony Bradley. And I don't think Tony Bradley should be like your 10th man. He should be like your 15th man, I would assume. If you're going to want to have a really good team, Tony Bradley should not be getting minutes throughout the whole season. So I don't, that's where I think Chicago kind of lap, uh, you know, don't do well in rather is because they kind of have a little bit of depth, you know, depth issue. So if they can bring in like the Marcus Cousins, you know, that kind of solves that right there. Because bringing in Stanley Johnson, Matt Thomas, and Alize Johnson... They're not big signings, but they're just average role players that will come in and do their job. 
Well, of course, Jerry Jones Jr., Alex Caruso, the two big role players they brought in. And then, you know, I think Lonzo Ball is star potential. And then, of course, you got DeMar DeRozan, who is a star in the NBA. So, hey, it's going to be real interesting to see how this, of course, all does unfold. I'm not exactly too sure. Um, but it will be really cool. I think it's going to judge if these are good signings or not when the Chicago Bulls season does eventually, you know, come around and we'll see how they go because this is a very small team. Like, even having, you know, Alex Caruso as your backup shooting guard, he's not a small player, but, again, he's not exactly big for the shooting guard as well. And your backup small four will be Stanley Johnson. He, a six foot seven is probably your average height for small forward. He's going to be six foot six. And then your backup power forward average height is probably like six foot nine. And again, theirs is going to be six foot seven. And they've got two backup power forwards, which will be like six foot seven. It's going to be a really interesting one to see how this, of course, all goes. I think their size will be an issue. But hey, that's just my opinion. Small ball has worked in the past. Look at the Golden State Warriors. So they are an option. You know, they could model themselves after. And of course, they're not going tall. They're not looking at that Lakers team from two seasons or so ago. So yeah, it's going to be real interesting to see how this, of course, all goes. If you haven't already, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel for the latest NBA content and NBA news. Of course, don't forget to comment in the comment section down below. What are your thoughts and opinions on them? Of course, you know, you know, signing uh, Stanley Johnson. Do you guys think it was a good signing? Do you guys not? Uh, of course, don't forget to subscribe to my gaming channel, my IRO slash vlogging channels, and don't forget to check out my podcast as well, if you haven't already, which I will all be linking in the description down below. But as always, well, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and comment, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.